As we've seen in video one, the main principle to remember is that the load should be considered as an immovable part of the vehicle. And it follows that the design and construction of the vehicle and its bodywork should be suitable for the load that it is going to carry. Transport services need many different kinds of vehicle body structures. These are also called superstructures. An open flat structure has no walls, usually only a headboard. Depending on the manufacturer's specification, the headboard can be used for blocking and the load securing arrangements that have to be supplemented by other blocking with wooden battens, bars and braces or with lashings. The box type superstructure can be loaded from either rear or side doors or sometimes both. There are restrictions as to the maximum load that the side walls must withstand. In the cover stake structure the walls have a rigid part and a lightly built part. Typically the lightly built part is made using laths. The walls are designed to withstand specified loads, so it is important to check the rating. Curtain siders are common types of superstructures that are easy to load and unload. As a general rule, goods carried within curtain sided vehicles should be secured as if they were being carried on a flat open bed vehicle. If the loading configuration or its securing would cause concern on an open vehicle, then it should be considered equally unacceptable for a curtain sided vehicle. Unless they are purposely designed according to standard EN12642-XL, the curtains of curtain-sided vehicles must be considered as part of any load restraint system. An XL-rated curtain must be used on an XL-rated trailer, otherwise no extra restraint benefit can be provided. When adequately constructed, the structure of the vehicle and components such as headboard, end walls and side walls will provide some restraint to movement of the load. The strength of the body structure on a vehicle should be based on standard EN12642 or equivalent requirements. It should be noted that the laws in different countries might have additional restrictions on how much of the load weight can be blocked by the vehicle body. The load capability should be clearly marked on the vehicle. Before the vehicle is loaded, it should be checked to ensure that its load platform, bodywork and any load securing equipment are in safe and serviceable condition. When the load is transported in a vehicle with a headboard with either no rated strength or when it is not stowed tightly against the headboard, then the whole load weight has to be secured against forward movement by lashings. When loads are blocked against the headboard, the strength of the headboard can be used to reduce the number of lashings needed to secure the load. When the load is transported in a vehicle with a rear wall with no strength or when it is not stowed tightly against the rear wall, then the whole load weight has to be secured against backward movement by lashings. When the load is transported in a transport unit without strong sides, the whole load weight has to be secured against sideways movements by lashings. If the vehicle has rigid walls, as in a container, blocking against them is a very good option. When doors are designed to provide a defined blocking resistance, the doors may be considered as a block, provided the load is stowed to avoid impact to the doors and to prevent the load from falling out when the doors are opened. Stanchions should provide transverse blocking against roll forces coming from heavy loads, such as precast concrete and cylindrical loads, such as steel pipes. Lashing points should have a design strength and be fitted in accordance with requirements of EN12640. Lashing point ratings should be stated on the lashing point, trailer structure or documentation. Continuous lashing anchorage bars are preferable. Rope hooks are not designed to be used as lashing points to secure loads. ISO containers have their own ISO rated tolerance levels for various forces acting on the end walls and side walls. They are designed to be carried on trailers with twist locks. The load securing method in different vehicles depends on the type of load being transported. In the next video we'll look at various load securing principles. For further information go to www.loadsafe.ie